Hi guys, and welcome to another short blender tip here. And we're going to be looking at the basic options in the array modifier. So the array modifier allows us to create a copy of an object um, along a straight line or a curve. Um, I'll cover the curves in another tutorial. Um, we'll just do the straight line to start with. So let's say we have this object here. Maybe it's um, a column or a, or a fence post that we've uh, made and we want it to be replicated um, at even spaces a certain number of times. Um, you don't want to have to copy and paste, copy and paste and, 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 and whatnot. Also as well, you may want to make changes to the object. And when you make the changes by using the array, it will be um, automatically then um, copied all the way along. So if we go to our modifiers and we select the array modifier, um, you'll see we've got fixed count. We'll make it six, for example. And then we just alter this relative spacing, and you'll see it spreads them out. So there is our array. Now, once you've done that, um, if you were to go over into edit mode and you were to make some changes to this first object, you'll see that you can't actually select those other objects because they are just copies of this main object. So if we were to create a loop cut, for example, and then we were to grab a face and drag that face outwards, you'll see that all of the changes that we make are being replicated along all of the objects. Which is quite useful. So you can make whatever changes you desire and those changes will be copied all the way along. So anytime that you need to have um, evenly spaced objects and you want to be able to edit the first object and whatever changes you make be replicated along all of the objects, then the array modifier is the tool that you want to use. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Um, in another tip, I'm gonna be showing you how we can use the array command to make objects around a center point to make a, a, a circle. Um, so I'll save that for another short tutorial. I want to keep these tips as short as possible. So if you like this, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.